I've gone through a lot in my life. It's had its ups and downs, but um, the other day was probably the worst. On Friday, June 2nd, 2023, at exactly 9.53 p.m., my near and dear Oculus Quest 1 was pronounced dead. That day, I was playing Beat Saber as usual. The only difference was that it was like 90 degrees out and the AC in my room does not work. And let's just say, I was dripped out. I don't know if this is even possible, but my guess is that some of my sweat got like into my VR headset and broke it somehow. And ever since then, it has been in a boot loop, just constantly turning on and turning off. And to my knowledge, there is no way to fix this. I have scoured the internet for solutions and tried everything I could think of. Pretty much everything I find on like Reddit or even like the official meta help site, it all revolves around like just turning off your headset and turning it back on. The biggest problem with that is mine doesn't turn off. A bunch of the Reddit posts I read also say people just had to like send their headsets back or get completely new ones because there's just nothing you can do about it. It is a tragic story, but I'm really not surprised. I've had the thing since the beginning of 2020, and after three and a half years of rigorous use, I knew it was gonna give out soon. I was just hoping it would get like a month or two more. To be honest, the worst part is that it's just like completely dysfunctional now. I've been planning on getting a new headset for a while now, and I was kind of hoping I could keep this one as kind of like an antique, sort of like old Nintendo consoles, but for VR. And now that it like straight up won't turn on, it's lost all of its value. And now I have to get a replacement. And as of right now, I'm kind of torn between two options, the Quest 3 or the big screen beyond. Two completely different headsets, right? One is meant to be as dense as possible and do everything VR can do in one package. And the other one is meant to be as light as possible, literally just being a pair of lenses and a wire. The big screen beyond is very, very enticing to me. Someone's opinion who I regard very highly is Thrill Seeker. And ever since he made his Beyond video, I have been dying to get one. What really sold me was the way he describes the lenses. The real magic here are the displays. Micro OLEDs are just incredible for VR, and these ones are tuned really well. Near Vario Aero clarity with 28 pixels per degree, no mirror like on PSVR 2, imperceivable screen door effect, vibrant colors, and super high contrast ratios. It's beautiful. And I really want this because visuals in VR are like everything to me. I'm like an iPad kid. I just need that visual simulation. And while yes, I spend most of my time in VR playing Beat Saber, I spend a lot of that time actually just playing noodle maps in Zen mode and looking at all the pretty lights. And dude, I could only imagine how good as the world caves in would look with those micro OLEDs, bro. This paired with the fact that I don't have to use the Oculus software anymore and better like general controllers, the Beyond is a really good choice for me. And cause I'm so rich now, I really don't mind dropping like 2K on a VR setup. My other option is the Quest 3, and it's looking good, right? Like, it's it's alright. It's definitely a step up from the Quest 1, right? It's got the better resolution, color pass-through, the controllers are super nice. And I mean, oh my god, those would be so good for Beat Saber. That's kind of it. It's just, like, a little bit better than the Quest 1. Especially when you compare the step up from, like, the Quest 1 to the Quest 3, and the Quest 1 to the Beyond. Like, the Beyond is... it's so much more. The Quest 3 is definitely, like, a worthy upgrade, but again, it's just like nothing crazy. The reason why I'm even considering getting the Quest 3 is because it's really cheap, and that's a great selling point. Right now, the Beyond, to me, looks like a way better choice. Without a VR headset, not only am I just like super bored all the time, but I also can't make videos. I don't know if you guys realize this, but it's really hard to make VR content without a VR headset. If I do decide to get the Beyond, it could be a couple months before my next video comes out. I mean, I guess that's normal, but like it could be a lot of months, so it's a, it's a problem. If you do want some more content from me while I'm waiting for a new headset to come, uh, check out my Twitch. This is a really good opportunity for me to start streaming there. Anyways, I'm gonna keep this video pretty short. I just want to kind of get it out there. But I would love some feedback from you guys. Which headset do you think I should get? Or is like anyone some sort of magical wizard and can fix my boot loop? Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.